word shortcuts in this video we'll uh, learn the basic word shortcuts so first we'll start with all the alphabet uh, in the alphabetical order with using control so control a selects whatever is there in the page that is selects all the contents of the page then we have our control b so if i select this control a select control b will bold all this text control c does a copy okay what does control e do control e will align it to the center control f control f opens the find box control i so again i'm selecting control i italics the text to get it back to normal i again do control i to get it remove bold control b control j will justify it to the screen okay it will justify uh, in the position then we have our control m which indents the paragraph so there is an indentation in the paragraph okay control n opens a new word document for us going back to the next document this i did by alt tab alt tab helps us switch between screens then control r will adjust to the right of the screen okay control s will obviously save the document control u will underline the text again u will uh, remove control r again will bring it back to the original control m more indentation you want and control l to remove indentation you just click backspace from the first and it will remove the indentation for you okay control u with it control v is space so we had copied this now you can paste this the so same data gets see had copied in bold so the bold one will get pasted okay control alt v is space special the one we like we do in our excel it's control alt v and the way you want you want unformatted text you want picture you want normal what you had copied formatted text and so on you can just select it okay control x is cut the selected data so control x cuts the selected data control v again pastes it control y redo the last control y so redo redo i had pasted it so it has redone that and control z will undo the last action control shift l creates a bullet point quickly control shift greater than sign will increase my font size see it is increasing the cursor as soon as i am writing okay control shift down or uh, less than sign will reduce the font size okay control enter to insert a page break like you have to finished your work in this page and you now come to new page don't do enter 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 this is not a good work control enter automatically comes to a new page okay next is to write in subscript or in superscript so say i uh, am increasing my font size i increase my font size so i have to write a subscript something so see subscript appears here i'll press control equals to see this is activated and this is in subscript similarly if you try to superscript first if you have to come back to normal position control equal to again and you are in normal position and now if i have to write in superscript control shift equals to control shift equals to will make us write in superscript and to come back to normal position again control shift equals to okay so these were uh, these are the uh, some shortcuts now more shortcuts we'll do so this is a very basic thing which happens with a lot of us we're typing something say i wanted this in a caps lock capital letters but it has come. we have typed and we did not notice that it did not turn capital so what you do shift f3 shift f3 first time shift f3 will convert it to a proper sentence that is the first letter capital second time will convert it to a full capital so okay so shift f3 changes the letter from upper uh, changes the letter from lower case to first a proper case and then to the upper case and once more if you press this it comes back to the original one there's one more shortcut which you can do format all which is will convert 
together all together in capital at once is control shift a control shift and a will convert it to a capital okay so this converts it to a capital the selected data next is control shift q so if i write say a and i want a greek letter do instead of a what i do is control shift q will change it to alpha for me similarly if you write l it will give you lambda now if you write m it will give you mu okay and you come back to original position you back to nn okay control plus home key on your keyboard will take you to the top of the sheet so control control home see this comes back to the first point of the sheet alt plus f7 so if i press alt f7 it finds the next spelling error alt plus f7 will finds the next spelling error for you control shift w so let's click the uh, select this sometimes it happens is when you do underline what is happening all the spaces are also getting underlined but you don't need this you only need the words to get underlined what happens is control shift w will underline only the words and to remove this again you can press control shift w okay we have uh, covered our equations in another video alt equal to inserts an equation okay and if you write a underscore b it it writes in superscript again alt equal to a power b writes in uh, superscript that was subscript this is superscript now to insert shortcut for inserting headers alt v h so it comes to header i already have a header here and for a uh, footer alt n o enter so comes to the footer okay i already have a footer here alt n o will come into footer and now if you insert if you need to insert a page number then it is alt n n u and b and then you can select whichever type of page number you want alt n n u and b okay just follow this alt n then again an n u if you see for page number n u and then b will give the bottom of the page for top of the page also you can get for page margins you can get when if you want in the margins or in the current position anywhere where you want it okay so it's that easy these are the basic word shortcuts which you can use in your everyday using word